Hello and welcome to Virgin Violinist. My name's Jesse, and as you might have guessed, I am the Virgin Violinist. Today really marks the start of a change on this channel. I'm still going to be learning the violin, but I feel like I need to change the upload frequency from once every couple of months to non-existent breaks that seem to last a year. Sorry about that. To something a bit more regular. Something daily maybe. Or daily-ish. I want to have a record for how my violin progress is going, but I think because I'm never really happy with how good something sounds, I just never really upload it. Which means I have a very patchy record. Uploading a video every time I practice and if something else happens during the day that I think might be interesting or I might want to keep a record of, like Disney on Ice coming from Birmingham in two weeks then I'll take you along with me there as well. I don't think those extra events are going to happen very often, but you never know. But I digress, that's not the point. The idea is a video every day, or at least every day I practice, to prove that I'm actually practicing and not, just, and not letting myself get away with any practicing twice a week, which has been the case a couple of times in the last few months. So I want to stop that from happening but also to have some more fun with it and hopefully improve playing the violin. And maybe it will show you that you can learn the violin at 32, oh my god. Yes, you can learn the violin at whatever age, it's fine, I think. I'm pretty sure, I hope so, I'm sure. Okay, so that's the waffle, that's the preamble, whatever you want to call it. If you choose not to stick around, I guess this is goodbye. But if you do stick around, hi, thanks, nice to see you. Well, through the camera lens anyway. So this video is going to kind of give a bit of a taste of what to expect, I, I, I guess. We're currently working on two scales, which is the A major and the A minor, two octaves in both. The A major sounds okay, but A minor might need some work. I did yesterday. It still sounds okay today. So this one is A major. That's probably an A, I hope. If it's not, I'm in a serious trouble. scales we also do the Apegrios, which for A major is A, C and E, it's kind of each one because it's A. This can be interesting, it doesn't always work out. <laughs> And the other one we're looking at is the A minor. This one has actually got... I don't, I don't know if you can see, it's actually got a smiley face next to it in this book. This is, basically each week we get, I get some notes of what to work on each time. And this is basically what we're working on. I have absolutely no idea if you can see that, but it's there. So the next one is A 
minor. Wish me luck. It's if you didn't know, A minor is kind of is relative I think it's to C, so it's got essentially no sharps and flats apart from an augmented seventh. So kind of the last note before you get to the eighth is a sharp. So it is the G sharp, so raised seventh is the, the, the right terminology. I think. Let's give it a go. Second time did not sound quite right. I don't think it's always tends to be on the way back down. Things go a bit pear shaped. Oh yeah, <laughs> need to do the apagrio. <laughs> still A splits. For the A minor it's A, C and E rather than A, C sharp and E. So keeping on this idea you probably need to know a little bit about what I'm actually working on, how we're doing it. We're not working on grades in the ordinary way you might work on grades like from the current syllabus because I don't want to do exams I don't like exams, they scare me, and performance, just, no, no thank you, no, 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 no. So what we are doing instead, we are looking at old exam syllabuses, so we're actually up to grade four in, um, for ABR, yes, ABR7, the Associated Board for the Royal Schools of Music. It's a really out of date um, syllabus from 2005 to 2007, so yes, completely out of date. Um, but we're still following the scales and the pair grades that you need to learn for the current syllabus, kind of. But we're looking at pieces from the old syllabus to kind of gauge where we are-ish. So that's what we're doing. We've chosen two pieces from this book and the first of those pieces is called Rondi... from... Abdalazar. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that. I am so, 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 so very sorry. I will say right now, I'm just going to play it, like the other piece, I'm just going to play it through tonight. I'm not going to do anything particularly special or amazing with it. Just going to play it through and see how we go. Yeah, this is what you've got to look forward to if you do so with this channel. <laughs>
said, that was just a quick and dirty run through of that place, and it really was quick and dirty. It's only better than it has done in a few, in a week or so actually, which is probably not a good thing, considering. What I'm going to do is watch this footage back and kind of trigger and find out which bits need more work and therefore focus on those bits so that we can actually improve rather than completely just playing the same thing over and over and over again and it all sounding pretty much the same as it did before. So the second song from the Grade 4 Syllabus book I showed you earlier is B3 and it's called ne Neapolitan Song from Swan Lake. It's opus number 20 by Chavosky. Chavosky? Chavosky? I really should give up saying names because I just don't get them right. I just butcher them left, right and centre. Um, right before, I'm just going to play it straight through. There's going to be some bits that are better than others and I think this one goes out of time quite a lot. So we've not only got bad timing, we've got bad tuning. Oh, this Maybe you just want to skip this one altogether. So that, that was Neapolitan Song. As you can probably guess, we spent more time on page one than page two. We've only really looked, started looking at page two in this last week. So that's why page two sounds a bit not very good, rubbish, squeaky, out of tune, all of the above. The final piece that I want to show you today is a piece I do like. It's not quite fast enough yet because my teacher's got a backing track or an accompaniment that can go with it which is a bit faster than I can play at the moment uh, I'm going to show you, I hope it sounds okay because it's probably my favourite piece of doing at the moment but it's it can go very squeaky if I don't play it very well which is probably the same for any piece of violin music I've ever written oh well it does sound really nice though and it's going to sound even nicer if I can play it properly. It's called Drowsy Maggie. It's kind of got an, uh, and it gets fast enough. When it gets fast, it's got a kind of Irish feel to it. <laughs> We're gonna stop that again. And again.
that attempt at vibrato there? Or should I say call it attempt at an ambulance coming up the road as I like to call it? Or that if it is if vibrato was just that. It's so much more fun, but it's not. It's Doesn't quite sound right yet, I don't think. My fingers just don't seem to want to do it at the moment, and it's kind of like, eh. It will get there, I'm sure. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps then. It might be perfect. Okay, so that's the last one I'm doing lessons at the moment. So that's the format these vlogs are going to take. They're going to, like I said, be pretty much daily. They're basically going to be showing you my violin practice, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch them back, and that will help kind of focus where we're going to go with the next one, what bits we're going to focus on, and what bits need to be improved slightly. They'll probably always contain the scale bits, the apogreos, um, but they might become just bits of some of the other pieces rather than the full versions, just so that you don't get completely bombarded with the same thing every single day. But hopefully you'll get enough of everything every day that you'll be able to see the progress from one day to the next. Hopefully week to week, month to month, we'll see some improvement. Or at least I hope so. If not, this is kind of going to be a waste of time and a progress that maybe says you shouldn't run the violin as an adult. We don't want to send that message because I think you should be able to learn well, to play violin as an adult. I was told when I was first looking for lessons, when I was 27 I first started looking for lessons and I was told, yeah, I'll well, give you an appraiser, but 27 years, come on, you'll find it difficult. And I was also told, oh, you'll never find a violin teacher who will take you every two weeks. I found a violin teacher at the age of 30. Oh, God, that makes me sound old. And she took me on once every two weeks and they are seriously the most fun thing I've ever done. It's kind of full of laughter, though my teacher seems to think that's more because of me. I'm not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing, so if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can. So, you know, give it a go. The one fun thing I want to do, I'm sure this is not going to take off in the first few weeks. If anyone's actually watched this far, if you have, congratulations. Uh, but maybe, I saw this in another daily vlog and I quite like the idea. If you have a question, I will take a question of the day and answer it at the end of each daily vlog. How is that? It can be about anything, it doesn't have to be about, it doesn't have to be about violin. You know, if you want book recommendations rather than violin, I like young adult books. I've got a whole stack of them just beyond this camera. Anything you like ask it in this video and I might answer it in tomorrow's video. Of course if I don't get any questions I'm just going to be saying this at the end of every video and nothing will happen. So have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow.